Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and this is the MSI A88XIAC motherboard. This is a micro ATX motherboard with an AMD chipset, as you can tell there. And this is for the FM2 or FM2 Plus processors. Take a look at the back of the box here. Got some of the general specifications there that we'll go over and take a look at. There's a quick shot of the rear I.O and then some of their other marketing stuff but anyway let's uh, take a look at what's inside the box alright so first of all we get a pair of antennas for the AC um, wireless connectivity we get some status 6 gigabit a second cables they are both uh, straight end to right angle end we get a fold out manual type thing here overview and quick installation guide in multiple languages and with pictures as well we get a driver disc here this is the motherboard utilities and drivers but it's always best to double check online if you have access make sure you got the newest drivers we also get a LAN and Wi-Fi Bluetooth driver I guess it should be mentioned then we must have a Bluetooth capable motherboard as well too which is pretty cool we'll get into that in a minute and we have a user's guide here that is multi-language oh, as well nope not multilingual okay this is entirely in English so it should be pretty comprehensive and then we have a rear I.O. shield and it is the non-standard type which I always like to see I don't like the plain old silver looking one so this is pretty cool alright and then we have the motherboard and here we are with the motherboard so we'll start off uh, down here at the PCI Express by 16 slot it is a physical and electrical by 16 however it should be noted that if you use a socket FM2 processor you're going to be running at gen 2 speeds and if you use a socket FM2 plus processor you'll get the full gen 3 out of that so it's a little bit better bandwidth if you go with a socket FM2 plus processor we've got a four pin CPU power right down there as well as way in here we've got the front panel audio and then we'll flip around oh, before we do I want to mention something else too the placement of this socket depending on what you use for cooling uh, like a big tower you know you want to watch the distance between um, you know between your tower and your GPU there's not as much distance here on a standard motherboard so a big tower style cooler may interfere with a uh, whatever you put in this slot I guess not necessarily GPU but uh, in my opinion on a mini ITX board the all-in-one liquid cooling is just a better option because then you don't have to worry about fans interfering over here or if you're doing push-pull then you have to worry about the uh, this heat sink here getting in the way so yeah it's just a little bit better design to uh, use with um, all-in-one liquid coolers speaking of RAM we've got two slots of DDR3 here and this will support up to 32 gigabytes of RAM so if you can find 16 gig DIMMs the, according to the motherboard it says it supports them so that's something cool to think about spin around there we've got our 24 pin power up at the top we've got serial ATA3 um, 6 gigabit a second there's four ports and this supports RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10 We've got a USB 3.0 header there, USB 2.0 fan header there. We've got our front panel connectors up in there. There's some other stuff like a, a uh, intrusion detection and CMOS reset jumper there. Then we get to our little Intel. This is the uh, wireless controller, as you can see. It is the AC7260. So this supports wireless modes A, B, G, N, A, C, and it also has Bluetooth 4.0, which is pretty cool. We've got a little heat sink over the chipset there. You can see we have our battery plugged in, and it's kind of stuck to the side of the uh, D sub port there. And we've got another decent heat sink on the uh, VRMs for the processor 
and that should definitely help. It's not super tall, so it doesn't get in the way of much, but it is there, and that is a welcome addition if you're going to use any kind of high performance or, um, well, high performance or an overclocked APU or CPU. For the rear I.O., we've got an optical out, we've got a combo PS2 port there, we've got a uh, DV, uh, excuse me, VGA, HDMI, DVI, we've got our wireless antenna um, stubs there, four USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, gigabit ethernet and then we have the audio out microphone in ports there so that is another quick look at the board I'll take another gander at it and if you like the video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give me the thumbs down as well too and in the comments section below let me know what you think about this motherboard and as always thank you for watching